for a number of years to make sure Cube runs in a variety of uh, device types, hardware architectures, operating systems. And to show that, uh, what I thought uh, I'd do is show you a simple application on embedded Linux device. This is an uh, ARM chipset with an NVIDIA GPU um, on a Amigo device. I can prove that it's Amigo here. You can see it's an Amigo device. This is on the Atom chipset. Uh, here is, uh, again, the Atom chipset, but in this case, I've got Windows, and then finally, on this guy, it's Windows. And the application is a simple application. Uh, it's running on the Qt framework, but it's actually, in this case, Qt Quick. actually used this USB key to copy the Qt Quick file across these devices. And you can see uh, it's a very nice kind of animation user experience um, for browsing photos from Flickr. And you can add keywords and do stuff. A uh, very simple browsing application. And the animation is the key. Uh, the importance of Qt Quick is, uh, from what we've learned, well, we learned two things about embedded devices. One is you have to optimize to the graphic system and to the chipset. That takes a lot of work. And the other, the other thing that we uh, learned is that uh, it's very important to adapt your, your application or your device UI to the capabilities of each device. And Qt Quick, uh, using the declarative approach to doing your development task using Quick lets you do UIs very, very quickly and adapt UIs. So those are the two key learnings, and that's why we did Qt Quick on top of, uh, of Qt. Um, the, uh, I guess the other thing to say here is that uh, the, experience, the DNA of Qt coupled with the upstream first philosophy of Migo really represents the kind of a best of breed industry solution for building these kinds of devices. And as you scale up uh, to 10x the number of devices surrounding your, your end users, those two capabilities married together are a very powerful, potent combination. Um, the, last, uh, the last demo I'll show you is uh, a work in progress. This is not complete. Um, but our target for CES this next year is a basically a cute quick, ver cute, quick version of uh, a media center um, built entirely in Qubit. So this would be a real application, real deep, and uh, trying to show uh, basically um, how you can build complex applications um, using that framework and being um, not actually a geek. Uh, and I'm actually formerly an English major in prior life. I thought we'd leave the note on James Joyce Ulysses. I also had a thought about um, Karsten's comment about the four ways of working, I think we should amend and add a fifth uh, way of working, which should, which would be everybody should aspire to work from their couch at home. I think that's <laughs> 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 Anyway, thank you very much. Okay.